What is up everybody? Today we're going to be doing a little bit of bass fishing in these bayous and ditches and creeks that run all down here on the south side of Houston. But before we get into it, I do want to give a big thank you and a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Coroma Electric Scooters. Y'all check out this bad boy right here. Now, whenever they sent me this, I have to admit, I was a little skeptical. But whenever I got it and I opened up the box and I wrote it for the first time, I was highly impressed. This thing is amazing. The first thing you're going to notice when you take this thing out of the box is the quality. I mean, it is durable, it's lightweight, but it doesn't feel cheaply made at all. Made out of the top materials in the industry and not to mention how slick the look of the main screen is right here. We got ourselves our brake, our bell, our different speed variations right here. It has cruise control, it has a headlight, so whenever you're riding at night, you can turn that on, you can be extra safe, as well as a tail light. And you can't see it right now because it's daytime, but I'll put a clip in here showing the brake lights on it. Whenever you hit the brake, it lights up nice and blue. So everyone around you can see you, like I said, to ensure maximum safety. But this thing has a top speed of around 15 to 16 miles per hour. Obviously that all depends on body weight. I'm a bigger guy, but even for me, it still goes around 14 to 15 miles an hour max speed on a full charge. Also, the range on this thing is anywhere from about 15 to 20 miles. So you can take this thing really wherever you want and you're gonna be good to go all day long. I'll show you some cool features and some cool videos I took riding this thing around. But for now, let's go ahead, throw on our backpack because we're portable today. Boom, got the fishing rod in the backpack. Let's head down to the bayou and see if we can hook into some nice larger mouth bass. Time to make a change. Let's go ahead and change up this lure because they are just not seeming to want to eat this today. Unfortunately, whenever I try to slow roll this little swim bait, it turns on its side and doesn't swim right and I have to reel a little bit faster to get to swim down. And right now, since it's cold, it's almost December, those bass are not wanting to eat something moving that quick. So let's go ahead and change up lures and see if we can catch something. So what I switched up to here is I found a black and blue jig in my box, which I didn't even know I had. And then I just have a brush hog that's been cut in half. We're just gonna Rig this up just like that. Now we have a little trailer. Y'all check out that lure. It looks real good. It looks like a crawfish or a little bug or some type of little fish or something down there struggling on the bottom. We're going to see if that'll get the bite. It's completely changing up the exact opposite of what we were throwing. Instead of throwing some big moving swim bait or something like that, we're just going to be working something very slow right off the bottom and see if those fish are holding close to that mud or close to that structure. Which a lot of times when it's colder outside, that is exactly what they're doing anything in this part of the creek over here so we're gonna go ahead pack up get our backpack on and head over to another part of the creek it's a lot more narrow and there's a lot more rocks and it's pretty deep so we'll see you all over there Here we go y'all, made it to the other side. This is exactly where we're fishing. A much smaller creek, but pretty deep and a lot more structure. And hopefully that structure is holding heat, which is gonna be holding those bass. Let's hop down there and make a few casts with this jig. last cast with this jig they're just not wanting to eat it today it's a tough bite 
And if this doesn't work, then I do have one more lure I'm gonna try out for a while. And that is going to be a white chatterbait, the secret lure. So if we can't catch one of this, we'll tie that on, make a few casts and hopefully hook into something. I can't leave without catching a fish. We are not getting skunked today. up to about 11 miles an hour right now we've already made it back home well as y'all can see the scenery has changed a little bit and that is actually gonna be the end of the video right now i'm up at the ranch we're up here to do a little bit of deer hunting but man i have to tell y'all it was a tough day of bass fishing i didn't even catch one fish that whole entire day and i know on the video the video is only like 10 minutes long or 15 minutes long but i was out there for a solid three to four hours and only had one bite and i missed it so a very tough day. I threw everything I had at them and they just wouldn't buy it. But I did have an amazing time scooting around town on that Karoma electric scooter. And I highly recommend that you guys check them out. That thing is super sturdy, very well built, and is very budget friendly. The holidays are right around the corner. And if you're looking for a nice gift to get somebody, maybe get one for your kid or maybe even get one for yourself. They do have a few different sizes and a few different models and variations. I just can't say enough good things about them. I will definitely be riding that thing around all the time. Don't be surprised if you see me down at the Freeport Jetty riding that thing up and down chasing those Spanish mackerels. That thing is awesome. With that being said, y'all, make sure to check them out and a huge thank you to Coroma for sponsoring today's video. I'll have everything linked in the description down below so you can easily go and head on over to their website. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're not already. If you are, like always guys, thank you so very much. Hopefully I'll have some hunting videos coming out during the next week, I think I will. It is some good weather up here, the deer are moving. But that is it for right now, until then, peace.